Okay, everybody, let's talk about using clip groups in Pro Tools. All right, so I'm just gonna get right into it. This is gonna be a shorty video today. So I have this old session open, so there aren't any clip groups in it yet, but I'm gonna just solo these drum tracks. You'll notice that they're actually grouped. This is a different type of grouping, so this is track grouping. I'm gonna do Command Shift G to deactivate those groups, so you'll notice those just went grayed out. So what we're talking about today is actually clip groups. So clip groups are different from track groups. And when we talk about clips versus tracks in Pro Tools, basically the track is, for example, if you look here at the track head, my track is everything that goes along the timeline here. So I can have multiple clips on an actual track. So here are my chunks of audio on the timeline. Ooh, you can hear my plugin. The clumps of audio on the timeline are what's actually called your clips. And then the track is the thing that houses all the clips. So let me find the drum tracks here. So you can think about the tracks here in the mix window. They display very much like a soundboard. And with a soundboard, oftentimes our track takes any given signal flow path. So, you know, you have a microphone coming in, it goes into a preamp, it goes down through the tracks. It might have, you know, effects added to it or, you know, different things added to it but um, you might ultimately in Pro Tools have multiple chunks of audio on the timeline on a given track. But basically, we have our tracks and then we have our clips. And the clips are the little chunks of audio here that actually go on the timeline. And they used to be called regions. So if you've ever heard someone call them regions, that is the old term. That's what Pro Tools used to call them. That's what Avid used to call them. But now they're clips. So you'll notice with our clips, we have something called a clip list over here on the right. If you don't have it open, you can just open it really easily using this little arrow icon down here. And it'll open up. You can stretch it out to see things a little bit better. You can see here, I have all my different uh, clips for my kick drum. As I highlight them, they highlight on the actual clip list. But I don't want to get into the clip list too much today, but I wanted to show you because we're going to be able to see our groups on the clip list as well. All right, so to create our clip groups in Pro Tools, it's really simple. I'm just going to click with my grabber tool to highlight multiple clips to show you. So I'm holding shift and then clicking around. Um, there's some interference sound from one of my plugins right now, so I might mute that in the final video. But basically highlight all the clips that you want to include in your group. This is one great example of how you might want to do that. You might want to have all of your clips on a given track maintain their relative position to each other. So I might want to group all these clips here that, that make up the kick track, right? So you highlight them and then you do option command G on your keyboard. So I'm just going to do that. And you'll notice it merged them all and created that group. And now when you look over here on the clip list, you can see my group. So it says GRP. So that stands for group. So that's what that means. And you'll also notice that it has a slightly different icon. So our, our, our audio files, they have little waveforms as their icon. Our clip groups, it looks like a little waveform inside a little container or inside like a box. So that's how you can tell if something's a group or it's an audio uh, file. So if you hover to, you'll notice this is audio clip group versus audio clip. And if you're on a Windows machine, that shortcut, I believe, is Alt-Control-G. So instead of Option-Command, it's Alt-Control. So when you're in this clip list, you can actually double click and then rename your groups if you want. I would recommend keeping the .grp. Um, I don't like to change that. I don't change that at all. But um, let's see, kick. I have kick and then sub kick. Anyway, I might rename this to just say kick group or something. You know, it's whatever helps you remember it. It's kind of redundant to have group.grp, but you know what I mean for the sake of the video. Um, you can rename your actual clip groups here and just hit OK and it'll rename it and it reorders it based on the name as well. So you'll notice that that jumped really quickly when I renamed it. So this is great because now this group, if I want to move it around, it will maintain their relative positions. These clips are now grouped together, so they move together really easily. It's a lot harder for me to mess up their position relative to each other. I'm going to do Command Z to undo that. I'm actually going to undo all the way back to before I grouped it too, because I want to show you another way that can be kind of useful. Um, so for example, if you have a section of a song like a chorus or a verse or even a group of like eight bars or four bars or something like that, you might want to group clips. So I'm just going to, I just added numbers to these markers. I don't know why I didn't have those there. The session's really old, so maybe that's part of it. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold, I held shift and then hit period 12 period to make this highlight from the chorus to the beginning of the instrumental. And now I'm going to hold shift and hit the uh, 
what is that? It's like the colon button. It's a little down arrow in Pro Tools. Um, I believe that's a colon button or semicolon, depending on what you're looking at. And then I'm going to hit B to break to break these out into separate clips just for the sake of this example. But you might already have your clips separated out for, you know, different sections like this. It depends on what kind of workflow you're working with. But you might want to group all these clips together so that you can work on arrangement. Maybe you want to think about dragging choruses and verses around or little groups of four or eight bars around and see if you like the arrangement when you quickly change it. So then you can do option command G again to create a group. And now they're grouped this way. So you can do it kind of like horizontally and vertically, so to speak. And now if I want, I can practice just taking this chorus and dragging it somewhere else and moving things around and rearranging them. And if I have all the different sections of my song broken out and grouped like this, I can really quickly workshop different arrangements. So that's another really useful way to use this feature. So that's basically it, using clip groups in Pro Tools. I'm going to just do undo to move this back to its position. And another thing that you might notice with these groups is if you find them in the clip list, there's a little triangle that you can open up the same way you can open up a stereo file and see the left and right. And you can see all the different uh, clips that are actually in the group. And you can click on the different clips within the group and you can actually right click on them and you have a few different functions that you can do to them as well while they're in the group from the clip list. So I just thought that was useful to know. And one more thing, let's say you have this group and you want to ungroup it, you can really quickly just do option command and then U to ungroup that group. And you can also access that, let me do option command G to regroup it, but you can also access that as well as the grouping function here on the clip list at the, or the clip menu at the top of your Pro Tools screen. So you can find group, you can find ungroup, you can ungroup all of your clip groups really quickly if they're causing trouble for you. Um, you can regroup groups if you've recently ungrouped a group, I'm saying group a lot. Anyway, that's basically it. So I hope someone found that helpful using clip groups in Pro Tools. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below as always and like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I would appreciate all of that stuff. And I do have a Patreon. So it's patreon.com slash Noise. My patrons get access to some additional content. The Discord server is the big thing that we've been focusing on lately. And you can check that out if you feel so inclined. And other than that, I come out with new videos every single Wednesday. And thank you so much for hanging out. Okay.